Greetings, Marsh here, and welcome to episode 51 of my modded Factorio playthrough. Enjoy. So, since we have additional iron output, if we're going to turn it into ingots, we're going to need to expand our smelting blast furnaces. So basically, if this one does 6 per second, and we want to do 18, we're going to need a total of 3 of these. So, let's reorganize things a little bit. Let's just pick all this up and uh, move it over. Because before, everything was on the same belt. But now they're on separate belts. So since we're doing that, we can move these things apart a little bit. Let's see, do we have any blast furnaces? Yes. So something like that. Iron ingots. Let's have three output so these two let's make the middle one a near and these other two longs let's just put them right there two spaces something like that I was thinking I could use robots but it's not oops I did that long-handed yeah I wanted those to be regular let's do that over again regular 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 Regular, regular, and then the nears. Near, near, near. Could use robots, but it's not that complicated. It only takes a few moments to do this by hand, so I'm not worried. So if we put that in that corner, it will cover all of those. We have the high speed belt coming in here. And we need to pick up another stack. Okay, so if we have three going out, we need three going in. power poles to power it all. Let's put it in that same general area. Like that, and some lights. Uh, I guess right there, and right there. And then this is going to need to be a red belt because it's going to have the 18 items per second. Let's put an underground well, but we didn't really need an underground on that side, so we probably don't need it there either, so. And does it need to be something like this? Might not. Now that we've got this kind of output, I think we might be able to do them separately. Although, I think this one is going to be just fine with a yellow belt. We'll have to test that to be sure. Um, let's see. Alright, we'll have to test that out and see how that works. But, uh, we just need to hook it up now. So, let's move this over a little bit. And that thing's in the way. Again, does it need to be there? No, actually it was uh, not mandatory at all. Okay, right there. And boom, there it goes. Let's see if this works. That works. And over here. Yep, this output's now uh, being overloaded because it only needs six items per second, so soon this is going to fill up completely and then everything else is going to go down here, about 12 items per second worth. Looks like there is a slight backup on this side, on the right side of the belt here. Could make this a little bit better with a balancer, so I think I'm going to do that. 
So let's just do it right here. Oops, didn't do that one right. There we go. That should help maximize the belt. There we go. So that's going down there just fine. It's not backing up up here. And this should be just about the maximum amount of iron that the steel production is going to need. Seems pretty close to maxed out. It's not quite, but it's good enough. And are we keeping up on this other side? Mm. Looks like it, but it's also having some uh, balancer issues, so let's just put one in here real quick, just to smooth it out. Okay, and what about up here? No backups, it's moving pretty good. Yeah, it's flowing straight in. Looks good to me. So we have just tripled our iron output or at least our mining output. It's still just gonna match the existing machines, but uh, at least it's uh, balanced now. Input to output is now completely balanced as far as our iron production is concerned. What about power though? Okay, power's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I was kind of worried for a second because we have so much output now. Next order of business is to set up some crutinium mining up there. And then we can get to making copper without having all of this mix. Have it nice clean belt like we're doing with iron. I'll just stick the extra random resources in here and we can clear it out later. I'm not too worried about that. Alright, so what are we going to need to build our base? Lots and lots and lots of bricks <laughs> as previously determined. Probably need even more than that, really. Looks like we're out of blue inserters. And actually, now I think about it, because we're carrying around all these yellow inserters and they're just kind of annoying. Let's set up a box here to... Because we normally have a bunch of inserters kind of st stuck in there. But... Um, just pick up all of those. Let's just stick all of our extra surgers in here. And then feed this machine with them and not just take that out to make it easier. So now, see if we take that out. There we go. Now that machine is solely going to feed out of there and then eventually our 750 yellow inserters are going to get consumed. So that's kind of an easy way of taking care of that. But let's see, we're probably going to need 30 or 35-ish poles. Let's make another 30. There we go, and probably 27 sounds pretty good. All of these electric poles, and let's get some more steel. And with that, we can make uh, some chess, and I guess we can upgrade our ore crusher if we got more bricks. Which we put all in here. Probably make a little bit more ammo, because we needed about a hundred ammo for the other setup. So assuming we do the same thing, we'll need another hundred. And let's see, probably a bunch of miners. Probably another fifty of them is my guess. When you're making that many of something, that's when you really start to consider if we need to build this on the bus. But for now, I think I will build them by hand. See if we're building them with any special resources. Nope, just steel. But we are starting to run low on various things, so let's max out. Let's fill up on everything. There we go. How's the network doing? 
pretty high, about 26 megawatts, but still within capacity. So we're making another 20 miners, so we need to make another 30 approximately. We need more bricks for that. Okay, that's close enough, I think. Let's load up on more steel again. Look at that, well, now we have a decent steel output here since we have uh, enough iron to support it. Probably should pick up some iron too. Okay. And let's get some bricks and then build our new base. That's all the time we have for today, so I'll see you at the next episode.